Unit 10 review, let's look at question number 21. Refer to this unit circle. Okay, so let's first identify what is the sign at pi over 3. Well, here's pi over 3, also known as 2 pi over 6, because 1, 2, 2 pi over 6. It's always cosine before sine. Sine is always the second number. So what is the sign at pi over 3? It's radical 3 over 2. So it's going to be arc sine of radical 3 over 2. Remember that arc signs only occur in quadrants 1 and 4. So where can I find a positive sign that's only going to be in quadrant 1? That is radical 3 over 2. That's going to be right here again at pi over 3. Okay, part B is in terms of degrees. We're going to drop down 45 degrees. What is the cosine of that position? It is radical 2 over 2. So I want to know what is the arc cosine of radical 2 over 2. Arc cosine occurs in quadrants 1 and 2. So where is the cosine positive? That would be quadrant 1. And where is it radical 2 over 2? Right here at 45 degrees, also known as pi over 4. Let's move on to the tangent. So we want the tangent of 5 pi over 4. So 1 over 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 5, 4, 4, 5, 4, so right here. Tangent here, we have the exact same value, both negative. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, and we have a positive 1. So I want to know, what is the arc tan of positive 1? Well, arc tan is going to mimic arc sine. It's only going to occur in quadrants 1 and 4. And where is a tangent equal to a positive 1? It's going to be right here at pi over 4, or 45 degrees.